Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we focus on a city where opinions are deeply divided on a topic that's been at the forefront of national debates for decades, abortion. We're journeying into the heart of Springfield, a microcosm of the nation, where the discourse on abortion is as diverse as its residents. We aim to shed light on these varied perspectives, hoping to foster understanding within this vibrant community. So buckle up for this enlightening journey. Welcome to our special discussion, Live from Springfield. Let's begin with Miss Olivia Rodriguez, a passionate advocate for women's reproductive rights. Olivia's perspective on this issue is rooted in her belief in the power and necessity of choice. She asserts that the decision to have or not have an abortion is one of the most personal and profound decisions a woman can make. For Olivia, it is not just about the right to make a choice, but about the implications of that choice on a woman's life. She speaks of the societal pressures, financial constraints and health risks that often factor into this decision. She argues that denying a woman's access to safe and legal abortion infringes upon her autonomy and her well-being. Olivia believes that in a city as diverse as Springfield, it is imperative to ensure that women's rights are upheld, and she passionately advocates for the right to choose. Access to safe and legal abortion is essential for women's autonomy and well-being. Now we turn to Mr. Michael Thompson, a pro-life advocate who believes in the sanctity of life. Michael, a steadfast figure in Springfield's community, holds a perspective that is shared by many, yet remains contentious. He explains, My opposition to abortion is rooted in the belief that every life holds inherent value and potential. This belief extends beyond personal conviction. It impacts the very fabric of our community. He continues, when we talk about abortion, we're not just discussing a medical procedure or a woman's choice, we're discussing the potential future of our community, the lives that could shape Springfield's tomorrow. He pauses, letting the weight of his words settle before continuing. I believe that by opposing abortion, we're advocating for those who cannot speak for themselves, the unborn. He concludes, in a city that values family and community, I think it's essential to protect the unborn and provide support for women facing unplanned pregnancies. His words underline the deep commitment he feels towards preserving life and fostering a supportive community. Dr. Sarah Reynolds, an OBGYN in Springfield, joins us to provide a medical perspective on abortion. As a healthcare professional, I find myself in a unique position. I'm tasked with providing the best possible care for my patients while also navigating the myriad of personal beliefs and values that each individual brings to the table. It's a challenging balance to maintain, particularly in a city like Springfield where opinions on abortion are deeply divided. In my practice, I encounter women from all walks of life, each with their own unique story and circumstances. My role is to provide them with the information they need to make informed decisions about their health care. It's about respecting their autonomy and their right to choose. But it's also about taking into consideration the ethical aspects of my profession and the wider community values. In Springfield, like many places, it's crucial to balance medical ethics, patient autonomy, and community values when addressing reproductive health. We now turn to Reverend James Harris, a respected religious leader in Springfield. Reverend Harris, you have a unique position in this discourse, don't you? You see, in a community as diverse as Springfield, Faith and spirituality often serve as the bedrock of many individuals' perspectives on issues like abortion. These deeply held beliefs can both challenge and enrich the conversation, introducing a different dimension to the debate. The challenge we face as a community, then, is to find a balance, a place where we can respect and acknowledge our differing views, yet still maintain the core values that unite us. As a community, we grapple with finding common ground that respects diverse perspectives while staying true to our values. To wrap up our discussion, we've invited Ms. Taylor Jackson, a community organizer in Springfield. Taylor, with a voice as calm as a morning breeze, shares her thoughts on this heated topic. She believes the key to finding common ground lies in active listening. Recognizing that individual beliefs are often shaped by unique experiences, she urges us to foster empathy. For Taylor, the path forward isn't about changing minds, but understanding them. She advocates for creating safe spaces where open dialogues can take place, where every voice is heard and no one is judged. She concludes, creating safe spaces for open conversations where individuals can express their views without judgment is crucial for finding common ground and moving forward as a united community.